Hey everyone, David here with Air Ray TV. And today we're going to take a look at our cold air intake system for the 2005 through 2010 5.7 liter Jeep Grand Cherokee and the 2006 through 2010 5.7 liter Jeep Commander. Now come on over and let's take a look and see what comes with our kit. We have our cold air dam panels, our modular intake tube, our silicone hump hose and our silicone coupler, our washable and reusable premium air filter, our blade style weather strip, and our hardware pack with detailed step-by-step -step installation instructions and everything needed for a complete installation. Now it's time to remove the factory intake system. I'm going to start by removing the hose clamp at the air box, removing the factory breather line, unfasten your two air box clips, remove the upper portion of the factory air box, and the paper filter. Now that we've removed the upper portion of the factory air box, it's time to remove our factory resonator. We're going to start by loosening the hose clamp at the throttle body, removing the 10 millimeter bolt, and unclipping the factory temperature sensor. Now it's time to install our Air Raid cold air intake system. I've already gone ahead and assembled our panels. Now it's time to put it in the Jeep. You just want to make sure these tabs are aligned with your factory air box, and you can refasten your air box clips to tighten it down. Now that the air box is installed, it's time to install our modular intake tube. I've gone ahead and installed the silicone coupler on our throttle body and our silicone hump hose on the intake tube. Now let's put it on the Jeep. Now once the tube's installed, you just want to align it and tighten down with the hose clamps provided. Now it's time to install our Air Raid Premium Filter. We're just going to slide it over the intake tube and tighten down with the hose clamp provided. Now it's time to install our blade style weather strip. Just want to press firmly against the panels. Remember to keep the flap out. Well our installation's almost complete. You just want to double check all your hose clamps and couplers, reinstall that factory temperature sensor, reinstall the factory breather line, and reinstall your beauty cover. Now let's hear how this baby sounds. <laughs> 